Hey there, good morning. Good morning to everybody out there in Facebook and YouTube land and other internet surfers that may or may not have any interest in our project here that I'm working on currently. This 2018 Mercedes something other, <laughs> a very impressive vehicle, I must say. It is uh, really a pleasure to get my hands on this high quality paint on this car which was kind of trashed from improper methods of cleaning etc and lack of regular enough maintenance <sighs> where this thing <sighs> you get in it it's like getting into the cockpit of a jet fighter plane and I don't understand why the <laughs> the mirrors keep folding themselves back. I don't know. I don't really get that. But I spent yesterday, the entire day, <laughs> pretty much strip washing this vehicle, which is most of you know who have joined me before. If you don't, you can go back and watch some of the previous videos or this previous video. But there, it's a multi-step process strip washing a car and that's what you need to do when it has been too long since it was clean or you've picked up a lot of contaminants on the vehicle and those need to be removed before you go on to the next step which in this case is clay barring oh boy yeah this one's full of contaminants it still has a lot of contaminants on it but it is other than those basically squeaky clean now it is as clean as it can get without going to other methods absolutely as clean as it can possibly get oh, man every little square inch every little crack every little nook and cranny has been cleaned on this car including all down in where the crack is like where the hood and all that is the doors windows all that all the trim all the rubber all the plastic the wheels and tires were stripped and deep cleaned as I call it <laughs> yeah all the chrome was deep cleaned all this trim these plastic pieces like where these mirrors attach to that was cleaned carefully because, folks, even Mercedes doesn't put high-quality paint on these pieces. The pillar posts were cleaned very thoroughly, gently, because, as I've told you before, these things, they're plastic, and the paint on them is not near the quality of this paint. They were cleaned thoroughly, but carefully. They will scratch just because you're in the other room thinking about them. The roof, very thoroughly stripped. You know, these horizontal surfaces get hammered a lot. Oh boy, this glass was stripped. But as you can see here, you can see there's still a lot of contaminants on this paint, which today, clay barring it will remove the bonded and surface contaminants where they have stuck to the paint where even strip washing would not remove these things. The clay barring will remove a lot of these. See that outline there? If that's embedded into the clear coat, which I don't think that particular one is, some of these are obviously, I can see live and in person here where the clear coat is ruffled and you feel it and it you can feel the indentation in the clear coat this level of detailing we're doing will not remove the indentations in the clear coat but they can often be removed with a higher level than what we'll be doing today sometimes you have to wet sand those spots a car like this you might have to just lightly wet sand almost the entire vehicle, probably with about 3,000 grit or maybe even higher. 
because the ones that are embedded that I have noticed, and I haven't no examined every little square inch so far, I will do that as I go along, could require a different grit, which could be then compounded and polished back out to get an absolutely clean, flat paint job, thus enhancing the gloss and shine even further when we get to the final stage, which is putting a protectant on this paint to help prevent these sorts of things from happening. And I think you can also see, if you look in there, in addition to all those contaminants, some of that's my fingerprints from doing that, that's okay. All the scratching that has occurred here. A lot of scratching. Hey, yeah, 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 we'll come back to that. <laughs> and as you can see, oh, there it is. Oh yeah, my new refrigerator magnet dash business card. They just came in the other day. Looking good, ain't it, folks? <laughs> but even this car being squeaky clean with zero protection on the paint. Sometimes just getting it squeaky clean. See there, the magnet won't stick. You know, there's no protection on this thing. So, folks, once again, those commercials you see where they sit a bottle of whatever and it just slides off. It's, oh, look how great our product is. It means nothing folks nothing do not be impressed by that and I you know when I was putting that magnet on I'm looking at that paint looking at it uh, I don't know if y'all can see those scratches this whole car is basically one solid micro scratch now what I've done I've assembled the stuff that I'm gonna be using today can see some contaminants right there on the trunk deck hopefully most of that will go away so what I'm going to be using today part of what I'm going to be using um, of course the clay bar today I'm going to be using Meguiar's just because I you know most of the clay bars are pretty similar but this is an aggressive grade of clay bar I don't think I'm going to need that on this car so what I'm going to start out with is this mild clay bar, which is not as abrasive as the, uh, the aggressive grade is. And we'll see how that goes. If that doesn't seem to be doing it, yeah, then I will graduate back to this. But always use the least aggressive first. See if that's going to work. That's the way they tell me it should be done. And then I've got some in here that's just for the glass. I keep clay bar dedicated just for the glass. You don't have to be as careful with this on your glass as you do with this on the paint. <clears throat> and only use that on tempered glass. For example, do not want to use this on your rear view mirrors because they are not tempered glass normally. And on tempered glass you don't have to be as careful with it like I said because you're not very likely to scratch the glass or worry about that as much as you do your paint two totally different materials but I keep a I keep one that's dedicated just for glass I will also clay bar the headlights the tail lights probably the chrome pieces if they have contaminants on them don't clay bar anything you don't have to clay bar but I'm getting ready to get started on that as you can see this large vehicle <laughs> this one and some of these SUVs and trucks I do just barely fit into my garage so while it's still relatively cool out here today that heat was brutal mm -hmm. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Uh, um, I will have, I'll do the front and the back probably first because with the door down, they're difficult to get to. And then I will drop the door, turn the air conditioner on. Not for my comfort, I could care less. I would just as soon work out here in the heat and the fresh air. But a lot of these products are temperature and humidity sensitive 
the more outside the recommended range of temperature that you get, the more difficult it becomes to use them, and sometimes they don't function hardly at all. So I will have the air conditioner running here and shortly just so that I can maintain a constant temperature and humidity level that's within the manufacturer's recommended ranges on whatever product I am using. Okay, but I just wanted to update y'all right quick. The car's looking much, much, much better today than it did yesterday, I think. Of course, by the end of today, I'm hoping it's going to look better still. <laughs> I do appreciate those of you who are watching, tuning in, and keeping up with what I'm doing here. I hope you find it informative. If you have a question, be f feel free to ask me. You know, put it down in the comment section down there. Tell me, hey, where you're watching from. I'm always curious about that. Send me a PM if you have a question. You don't want everybody else to know what you're asking. That's fine. I'll answer it as best I can. Of course, I will be using only top-grade microfiber towels on this vehicle, as I do all vehicles. You cannot buy those quality towels locally folks anywhere trust me uh you can't and it is very important and i will be changing pads and towels frequently always work clean always work clean <laughs> so anyway <laughs> i do appreciate everybody hey you know what give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs down doesn't really matter uh if you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified of the future videos on this project as well as upcoming projects, which there are several coming. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be doing another Mercedes here either next or rather quickly. We shall see. We shall see. I appreciate everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. All right. I'm getting to work now. Bye, y'all.